The word that I most associate with International Women's Day is voice. We have to ensure that women can find and use their voices to make the world a better place, whether that's in their local communities or running our countries. It's particularly important that we do this for women who are more marginalised in those conversations at the moment, whether that's because of the colour of their skin or because of their economic situation. All of us have to find more inclusive ways to lead to ensure that women's voices are an equal part of the choir. I started my career as a scientist and I loved the problem solving in that. But a key moment in my career was when I realised that I could bring my experience in the lab with my interest in politics and my broader skill set in order to make sure that science could make a bigger contribution to the world. I found that by chance and what I've learned is that the most obvious route in your career is not necessarily the one that's going to satisfy you and reward you the most. You have to make sure that you understand what it is that's going to suit you, where your skills are and then hunt around to find the opportunities, don't leave it to chance. Promoting health and well-being are fundamental part of the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals. At Wellcome, we support science to make sure that we can make a big difference in three health challenges, mental health, infection and climate change. I lead our policy team, which works with influencing teams across Wellcome to deliver policy change, whether that's setting the international agenda on an issue or whether it's removing policy blocks such as regulation so that science can have an impact on health more quickly. Policy is therefore a key route for us to deliver the change that can make the world a better place and de deliver truly sustainable development.